Uh, the fumes from the 3D printer slowly take away years from your life. Let me show you how to avoid that by building a ventilation system. I've noticed myself uh, irritation around my eyes and a certain smell and uh, limitation when it comes to my breathing, when it comes to that thing being turned on. I don't want that happening anymore and I don't have the space to locate it anywhere else in my house. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and build a ventilation system that comes from the machine to the window. What I'll be doing basically is I'll be showing you the parts. I'll leave the link in the bio for all this stuff. I saw this video by once in a six side he has all the pieces you'll need that are 3d printed and i'll show you how to do all that stuff as well i'll leave updated links in the bio because a lot of his stuff i believe are from the uk or they could be outdated it's been a while since he's done a post about that so therefore i'll give you updated links so I can, you can get all the stuff i got let me show you everything you need for the ventilation system so you'll need vacuum a vacuum yes materials so you can make a hole in the the acrylic cover of the 3D printer. You also need a uh, tubing connected to the machine. This 3D printed parts. If you don't have a 3D printer yourself, I'll leave the link in the bio so you can go get one yourself. I believe you can buy it off his website. And also these screws so you can screw in the parts of the 3D printed part holes are that's where the screws are gonna go in and we just want to seal those shut i might put some hot glue in the seal so i make sure it's not coming out of the sides uh but also you want to make a hole with the drill with the saw that we bought i'll just shut up and show you bro don't forget your respirator also i almost forgot you'll be needing this that's for the window you know that you know those covers we put for ac units in the windows You'll need that as well. It's just basically a bunch of connections. If I run into an issue, I'll show you. But it should be pretty straightforward, so you shouldn't struggle. And this one is so when we make the hole in the acrylic, instead of the air coming out, we can seal it shut. And this is a new design that he made because the one prior to this one was with magnets. So now this makes it a little bit more convenient and you save on the price of the magnets because you can just do it like that. And he has different designs if you sign up for his Patreon, I believe. So. Okay, and so now we grab these ones and then put it around. This one so you can make pressure. I believe that should be tight enough. Okay, so we have the machine here turned on already. So here it's sucking, on this side it's spitting. You wanna suck. So since this side is going directly to the machine, we're gonna connect this one to the sucking side. Suck out the air we don't want. Kinda like this. Grab this, the brace, put it on top so you have it like this, connect it, and then you do that four times. We need to connect another one to the window. We need to build that panel for the window. I got no clue what I'm doing, bro. Let me look at the manual, hold up. It didn't come with the manual. I got it now, I got it, okay. This thing goes paired up with this thing, so you can extend it like this, right? And then those holes you see are bolted stuck it in place. Now, the way I made this fit is they give you this cup. I squeeze it in, pretty ghetto, but I think it should be tight enough so they can put it in here. Screw it like this to the hole of the wall. So let's this goes on the back side of it. So it goes behind it like this. Like this. I don't know. To position that in place, you want to go ahead and do those three holes. Tighten it and then we can go in with the saw just to get a pressure here so you make sure it's sealed shut and if not you can always take it apart. Also need some allen wrenches because it doesn't come with one but just make sure to get a small one so you can twist it from the inside. So, turn it around, 
and we're gonna tighten that shit with some washes and some nuts. Some nuts, bro. Now I'm gonna have like somewhere to hold it from, cause it used to be that you would need both hands to lift it up, but I have this. I just pull it up. Isn't that cool? So what I'm doing now is the position where I put the seal is a little bit on the edge of the curve of the dome. I'll go ahead and put some hot glue so I can seal it shut so I make sure those fumes are not coming out of the box. It's like, right. I'm gonna go with this one. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit smaller. At the end of the day, it's gonna be sucking hole. As long as it's within the parameter of the hole for the closure, we should be good, bro. Doesn't really matter. I don't get it. Okay, I don't know how to use it. Hold up. I get it now. So these thing, this thing comes apart like this. Then, put the part that you want, put the safe on the back of that, and then you screw it back together. A la bestia, man. Now let's go ahead and test it out uh, just to make sure it's functioning. Dude, as soon as I connected it, the smell went away. This is not fucking crazy. I'm trying to get. No? So far, so good, bro. Future project. And uh, I'll go ahead and send out some prints to the machine. I'll close the door. And then when I come back in like an hour or two, I'll go ahead and sniff it out, see if um, I get any whiff of the smell. Look guys, just as reference, I'm this close and I can't smell it. I can't smell it, bro. I can't smell it. I'll live another 10 years. The conclusion is, get it, do it. If you think of getting into 3D printers, buy this whole kit along with the printer. So when you first get started, you don't go through those irritations of, you know, breathing in bad air, especially if you get animals too. Uh, it's highly recommended. And if you got other people living with you, because I can assure you they will complain because it is a very strong smell. But this is a pretty nice investment, honestly. And the thing is, you could use it for numerous things. It's not only the printer. You could do like housings, put several printers inside the housing, close it up and then connect it. As well, if you wanna do like a housing on the side, like in his video, where it's connected to your painting station, then all the fumes are gonna go through there as well. So you, it's multi-use, especially if you got it close to your workstation and your printing station, uh, it's very versatile. But yeah, let me know if you liked the video. Let me know if you're gonna do it yourself. Let me know if it was helpful, dude. Like, follow, subscribe, all that stuff. Follow my Insta. Bye. Get in the comment section who that is.